Hello again, my name is Peter Yori of the Fearless Partnership and in this short clip I'd like to show you how to develop really amazing memory skills and everybody can do this and we're going to use a, quite an old technique but we're going to adapt it for use with Mind Manager 2012 which makes it very effective. Essentially what we're going to do is take images from a very familiar pattern of sequence of events, in this case it's coming home from work, coming into the house, making a cup of tea, sitting down, so for me it's like falling off a log, you'd never forget this sequence, or I certainly wouldn't anyway. You've got to pick one that uh, is absolutely familiar to you, and then peg sequences or lists of information that you're trying to remember to each of those photographs. And then to each of those topics you can add a subtopic and build out the amount of data that you're able to remember. And as you get better at the practice, get skilled in this, you can add photographs to the base memory from which you're then going to spring out your, uh, your enhanced memory. And um, you'll see what happens when we walk through the, the map. And I'd be really keen to hear from anybody who uses this technique and dramatically improves their memory function. We'd love to hear from you and uh, share your stories. Thank you. So this is a very simple and well-known idea and Mind Managers makes it much easier to apply. So what I've done is I've taken nine events on my journey into the house, taken photographs of them from opening the door at the outside of the house to opening the door to inside the house, the f seeing the flowers on the hall table, going to the loo, again these kind of very um, visceral experiential things help to, to trigger the memory. So I'm then turning on the TV, getting a snack, making a cup of tea, grabbing the tea and sitting down. That's so familiar to me, it's, it's impossible to forget that routine and I can visualise myself being in each of those places. And then I've added to each of those locations the name of an American state and then to the name of the state, the state capital and then the piece of information I find more difficult to remember is the name of the state like for example um, Florida is known as the Sunshine State, each of the states has got a sort of nickname and I want to be able to, to remember those. Now you can see that for example, card players who are learning to count cards will use this t technique with, they'll build up to be able to remember 13 set things in sequence and then four sets of 13s and then um, three or four sets beyond that of, um, of a full deck of cards. So the, you know, the human brain does, believe me, have this capacity. It's just the way in which you structure and give the brain triggers to remember the, uh, the information you're, um, you're looking at. Now, these, this bit's going to sound a bit crazy, but this is how you read through the images. All right, so you tell yourself your story. So I'm opening the door, and you just have to go with the flow on this because some of it will stick for, for, for me, and I'll just remember it forever. Um, and you know, you'll do your own little stories through your own little routines. But we open the door to the quiz, and it takes us to the memory tr uh, test, and it takes us to the state of Michigan, where the capital is Lansing, and the Wolverine State is the nickname of the, the capital uh, of, of the state. And if there are Wolverines in the state, I'm going to need a lance because they might attack me. So in Michigan, I'm going to need a lance to deal with the Wolverines. Get the idea. I move from my front door to the door knocker, and now I'm in North Carolina. Carolina. Cars are involved in rallies. They run on roads which are made of tar. The tar can get on your heels, and you're in a bit of a state. So when I knock on the door, it's North Carolina Raleigh Tar Heel State. The flowers on the table, South Carolina, that's a, a place, it sounds beautiful, it sounds as though South Carolina should be full of flowers, and you know, the Columbine plant is a flower, Columbia is the capital, 
And because there's loads of flowers there, there's obviously palm trees. So it's a state that's got maybe small palms, palm meadows in the thing. And I think there are flowers as well. So flowers in South Carolina take me to Columbia, the Palmetto State. And, you know, I could go on. That's the idea. Just build a little story from opening the door to knocking on the door to seeing the flowers and tag each of the pieces of information with a little little sort of phrase or, or memory. I'll give you an example. When I was taught Latin at school, the Latin teacher, and this is a long time ago now, the Latin teacher told me that he helped people remember the name of, of the word pilum, which is Latin for spear, because lots of the boys in the class like to peel a banana. So pilum a banana is spear. Why on earth I've been able to remember that, I don't know. But these little connections that are almost infinite in the brain are the things that tee up great memory. And of course now you can move the images around, add new ones. Mind Manager lets you stick a picture of a wolverine in this box here and, and move the, the pieces around so you know that if the, for, for whatever reason you moved the sequence and you came in through the front door, knocked the door but went straight to the loo rather than looking at the flowers, the sequence still holds. So I'd really love to hear from anybody who's, um, who's had positive effects from using this technique and has taken it out to, to, to more and more names, adding more boxes and topics around the main topic or going out several levels deep and being able to remember um, multiples of, of the information that you're trying to, trying to store. So um, hope that's of value and uh, enjoyed using Mind Manager 2012. Give us a call or buy, get us by email if you'd like to learn more.